Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I will be showing you the best deck for Archer Queen in Clash Mini. Now starting with our build, we're going to have to use the Skeleton Giant, the Bowler, Ewiz, and lastly, the Archer. Now, I'm going to be playing some games to show you the main setup of this build, but it basically involves stunning your opponents multiple times to set up your Archer Queen. This build is completely busted and oh perfect as we have the perfect startup build for this deck and we're you're about to see us probably destroying well I mean hopefully destroying this other Archer Queen player. Let's see how it goes. Now this startup usually isn't the best for a Archer Queen player it is best for people who spams um, attacks on 3, as you can see here. Skeleton Giant misses the his bomb, which is his entire special, and we still win the game anyway. Now I'm thinking of adding a Archer in the game, and a Mega Knight Snake. Remember, if you're placing a Mega Knight, place him one block behind the Skeleton Giant, so Skeleton Giant will take the aggro. Perfect. I don't know why he placed a Spear Goblin there. There we go, knocking down the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And uh, this game is a dub. I don't see any chance we will lose that. <clears throat> Leveling up the Skeleton Giant here and the Bowler, just so we can get that special back up. Moving the archers just in case he tries to read me with the goblin spear. Or, yeah. But yes, Skeleton Giant can also tank a goblin spear, which is perfect. And of course, we read his read. And yeah. A good thing about Bowler is that he sometimes will get the miner after he uses his first ability if you place him to the right position. And we lost that game because we haven't really placed uh, the bowler well and the miner kind of threw us off there. It really doesn't matter here because we're about to get the e-wizard and we can basically give him this game and still win. Just places there just in case, doesn't really matter. We should have placed the archer before the archer queen, less risky but doesn't really matter. Yep. And this game is a win. There you go. Now, if you hang around, I'll be showing you other matchups into this build. See, this time now we're against the Countess. <laughs> Let's see how this uh, build share. Um, also, this is a second setup, which is Mega Knight Archer. It's not as good, and um, yeah, this build struggles in the early game. So it's fine if you're giving him like one game, two game. It's okay. It's not necessarily the worst ever. Unfortunately, not being able to get the stun there, and we will drop this game because of that. It's fine. Like I said, this build struggles early. just to rack up the stun later. Placing the skeleton between those two, so two of them will all aggro onto the skeleton giant. And we have one elixir left over, which is not really good, but it's okay. Like I said, I can give him another game. Perfect. Skeleton also tanks the uh, goblin spear right there, and Yikes, Pekka got his double damage, and we will drop this game as well. It's fine. It's completely fine. Next, we're going to get our Electro Wizard and, uh, and Bowler too. I didn't have Bowler, so yeah, perfect. I'm hoping that they, they, since they don't know how to have a bowler, they're going to keep the placement there, which 
should just get knocked back. Oh, I didn't, but it's alright. Still tanks the uh, Wild and Spear, which is great. You see that all the stuns coming in, and yeah. Perfect Archer Queen setup. We will win this game. Trust me. Upgrade Skeleton Giant. Upgrade the Bowler to get that beautiful effect in, in as a special ability. It's one of the only counters to the Skeleton Giant. I, th I really think the Skeleton Giant is busted in this game. How do you counter a Skeleton Giant? He just walks up and stuns you. So, like, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Right, there we go. I mean, yeah, unless they have, like, counter to all these stuns, they, they won't win. As you can see, the P.E.K.K.A just gets pushed and gets stunned for the rest of the game. Tie 2-2, and uh, we're just about to win. Upgrade the Electro Wizard, why not? More stun for us. And, yeah, we have some Elixir left over. Oh, yeah. Also, for this build, you can try to switch out the Archer for like the Goblin Spear if you're really good at using it. It's completely fine if you want to. Let's see here. Perfect. He didn't want to change his setup. I don't know why. Phone's battery. Ignore that. Didn't happen. He didn't see anything. Uh, there is. You see that? Takes it out and he will be stunned. Quite sad, really. And we win the game. Told you, this deck is busted. Alright, now this time we're going against the Monk matchup. And um, unfortunately, I only have enough for the Skeleton Giant. And as I said before, Skeleton Giant is busted and he doesn't really need the Boulder. But of course, it would be the best if you had the Boulder. And oh, I should have placed my Archer Queen a little bit back. Yeah, I think I'll drop this game because of that. It's okay. Oh, and we get the stun. That's actually really unfortunate. Yeah, no. We wouldn't have won if I placed it back anyway. It's okay. We get the Bowler this time, the late setup. And the Magnet? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, ignore that. He didn't just he didn't do that. <clears throat> Perfect skeleton giant tanks the goblin sphere. Perfect sun coming through. Great value. And we will win this game. Now, Monk Lairs typically have a rushdown deck, which is the gr very good for the Bowler Skeleton setup, as the Bowler knocks down the set amount of people, and then the Skeleton Giant stun them again, so it's just wonderful. And the Arch Queen will just start racking up damage. He placed the Goblin Spear at the front there. Gets the stun on me, that doesn't matter. He will die. Look at how long that stun lasts. My goodness. <clears throat> he will drop another game. And now we get E Wizard. We can safely assume that this is going to be a good game. As I don't think he plans on switching his setup either to avoid the bowler. Yeah. If you're wondering why I'm not using the Goblin Spear, Spear Goblin, is because, you know, I, I don't have too much skill here. The Valkyrie movement. He, he got my Archer. I don't know why, but understandable. Oh, that catches me in animation. It's fine. They have to move towards us. We win this. Mm -hmm. And that is game. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. 
I, I know I don't really say that a lot. You don't really have to. I just put a lot of time into this, all right? I would appreciate it if you do. All right. Thank you. Bye.